Liz. Welcome to my little urban homestead. Um, I hope everyone's getting ready for Christmas. I know our Christmas decorations went up about a week ago. Um, I may or may not do Christmas food shopping. I may not actually. I've got enough in. Uh, it amazes me how many people for a good couple of weeks before Christmas start more or less panic buying and they spend an absolute fortune and a lot of it just goes to waste I don't like that ne never really done it uh, the panic buying if you like uh, but I have always tried to go shopping before Christmas, uh, just before Christmas, within a couple of days. Um, awkward to do when you're working full time and that. And now I've got the time. <laughs> I've got that much stuff in. I don't need to. Um, we won't be here for Christmas dinner. Uh, we'll be at me mother-in-law's. So I don't need a turkey or anything like that. And... Uh, They'll just be me and Lurch the rest of the time. So, and I've got I've got parsnips and sprouts in the garden. Um, I have had to buy some potatoes, but I've also got uh, canned potatoes and runner beans at the garden. So just put some chicken with it. That half a chicken that I did the other week. Hmm. Yes. That will do us for a nice Boxing Day meal. Then again, I might decide to do something else. I don't know. I've got that option. Because uh, it's just the two of us. Nothing set and stale and rigid. As I say, I hope you're getting ready for Christmas. I am doing an awful lot of knitting. And I've tried my hand at crochet because I used to crochet as well as knit years and years ago and um, just see if I could remember how to do it and I can so I've got lots of made myself two pairs of slippers <laughs> and um, I might make a third pair and bring you along and show you how easy and quick it is it takes just over a night for me to do a pair of slippers which you can use as bed socks as well. If your bed gets that cold or your feet get that cold. I know mine do, but uh, Lurch is always very warm to so I'm all be feet up on him. Right. On about warmth. The colder the weather's getting, the more pain I'm getting off my knees. And... I've already, when I go out for, take Mason on his walk or go out uh, to sort the chickens, I already have my long socks over my knees and uh, to try and protect them and keep them warm. But I thought it's not yet freezing during the day. It will do in a month or so's time. And be snowing as well. So I need something extra. Instead of putting layer on layer on layer around my knees, especially my left knee, I came up with an idea. Let's say I get, I've always got cold over winter. Everyone gets cold over winter apart from lurch. So my heating is very low. And uh, hardly ever comes on at times. Um, because he can't take the heat whereas I can always pour a cardigan on or something to help me get warmer but uh, a few years ago I saw this in the shop and obviously bought it and Lurch calls it Torso Teddy because it's a little jumper but inside the jumper a 
comes up so you can wash this. But, whoa! There's a hole in this, so it needs sewing. But, this bag that fits in there contains seeds. You put it in the microwave, bang it on for a minute and a half, and these seeds stay warm for ages. And I think this was supposed to be a wheat one. Uh, now, I think it's barley seeds or wheat seeds I've got for um, growing fodder for the animals. Um, so I've got quite a few seeds. So I thought, hmm, do a similar thing, but obviously not as big as this. Possibly just the size of one of the arms. Oh, it definitely needs sewing. And um, make small ones to just go over my knees. And I can tuck them in the top of long socks or I can put them inside um, leg warmers that are around my knees. And that should help to keep them quite warm. So I'm going to have a go at that today, um, it's something easy, quick to sew, so I'm going to have a go at it. I could even, this is old, make a different one up, go nuts and make loads of them. <laughs> Actually they would make good little presents. These are the seed grains I've got, which I grew for fodder for the animals, which I still do from time to time. And I think these are barley or wheat, one of the two. I'm just going to now test them in the microwave. So, I'm not in that one. So there we are. You can't see this on video, but now they are nice and warm. And so they work. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to make some of these, because this is about four, Four or five pounds, something like that. Now, I've got a bit of material in. Um, I've got these seeds I use for the animals and they're breaking down. Hmm. Well, as long as they work, <laughs> it doesn't matter. We'll see what they work out like. I'll make some little sashes to go in. You can see there the heat of them has caused, I don't know if you can, it'll pick it up, it's caused some condensation on the glass top and the cooker. But I've got to get on with doing them now. Right, this is an old shirt of my son's. So I've just cut out a bit of it. Um, this is my trial to see if it works. Um, let's put the same machine right and then I'm just going to sit this up. Today is the day things go wrong. Um, my sewing machine belt isn't working right, so I've got to sort that out. And I'm having difficulty, tripod difficulty. I can't get it to stop it being ski whip. But I'll sort through them. Turn me right on now. <laughs> um, what I did is sew down two edges when it was inside out. And then turned it the right way round. Filled it full of those seeds, turned the tops in and sewed it down. Uh, there's something wrong with my machine, I think it's the 
the belt so have to have a look at it um, basically it's like using a hand one um, rather than electric because it's not turning the wheel right so I'll have to see if I can get that sorted but there is one of my knee warmers and next time I take Mason out for a walk I can try it out in fact I can go and um, warm, warm them up in the microwave and try it out now and if it works and I can get my sewing machine sorted then I can make loads of them different shapes even those crocheted slippers I've been doing I could have a foot warmer <laughs> it's in the shape of a foot but it'll be hmm seeds right um so it seems to be working okay thank you bye it's a perfect